Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beach Bump Bookworm. I am Tiffany. I'm glad y'all found me again today. My channel is mostly about cozy mysteries. I've been saying that, but really it's about cozy mysteries and romance because I read a lot of both. I will throw in some other videos from time to time and today I am doing part three and my final part of the 2021 romance releases. There are a ton of romance books coming out this month. So I do have a technical question before I get started that if somebody could answer in the comments below and if it's a really like duh answer, just be nice about it because I really have no idea. Okay, so my background when I'm sitting in front of it, this the, the background looks fairly green meaning my wall and it's really a like teal teal blue so let me let me pull up so like this is the color of my wall but when I sit in front of it I feel like it goes more green and when I'm out of the picture more blue come back more green I don't think I'm imagining it what is going on somebody please let me know in the comments below and again it might be something like I should obviously know the answer to and um I don't so just be nice about it but if somebody could let me know why it's doing that it'd be great I greatly appreciate it all right back to the video we're looking at the 2021 romance releases let me know in the comments below also which of these romance releases you're excited about what books that I don't have on this list that you're really interested in reading because I get my list from mostly Amazon and Goodreads and a combination of a couple other places. And I know that I don't um, get everything, including um, I know I need to find a website that's really good for like indie authors and stuff like that, because I don't see as many of their books. And I know that that is um, an area that I would love to be able to expose more to more of you guys and myself to. All right. So let's get to it on your way down to comment. Don't forget to stop Hit the subscription and the notification bell that's going to tell you when I put out new videos each and every single week. But for right now, let's jump into the list in three, two, one, go! So the first book I want to talk about is called When We Met. It's by Marnie Mann. The cover is right here. It says, if you knew beyond all doubt that one chance encounter would change the course of your future, what would you choose? Ooh, that's a hard question. I don't know what I'd choose. I need to see, like, can I see a trailer? Can I get, like, a, you know, 30-day tr free trial period? Like, let's discuss this a little before I just jump in. Um, all right, so what would you choose? It says, there's nothing like a spring day in Boston to make your heart sing. I'm out with my girls having a drink in a bar and enjoying, enjoying the bright pulse of our beautiful city when I see Caleb. The second my eyes meet his, I know this is the moment when everything will change. All I have to do is choose him. Hmm. I meet Whitney on the worst day of my life. I've always been an adrenaline junkie, but I never knew how fast things could change. Her soft gaze melts my cynicism, makes me forget the bitter man I was becoming. She makes me want to be the better version of myself that I see in her eyes. All she has to do is choose this life. When we, when we met takes Whitney and Caleb on the ride of their lives, hitting every note on the scale of beauty and tragedy along the way. Whew, that might be a really intense book, depending on all this, you know, secrecy of what kind of life she has to choose. Interesting. Which might be what's drawing me to it. So the next book is called Tequila Rose. It's by Willow Winters. Side note, I love the name Willow. So cute. All right, here is the cover. It says, he tasted like tequila and the fake name I gave him was Rose. Four years ago, I decided to get over one man by getting under another, a single night and nothing more. I found my handsome stranger with a shot glass and charming but devilish smile at the end of the bar. The desire that hid his eyes the second they landed on me ignited a spark inside me, instant and hot. He was perfect and everything I didn't know I needed. That one night may have ended, but I left with much more than a memory. Four years later and a three-year-old in tow, the man I still dream about is staring at me from across the street in the town I grew up in. I don't miss the flash of his recognition or the heat in his gaze. The chemistry is still there. I just hope the secrets and regrets don't destroy our second chance before it's even begun. Whew. So... 
I don't, I'm just going to be honest, I don't know if I will look into this one. I'm really one that says, and I think, I think this is a disclaimer you hear on all the channels, um, and I agree with it just like I think everybody else does. Everybody likes their own things. I am not a huge fan of secret baby daddies. <laughs> um, you know, I get in this case, it sounds like it was a little more of a one night stand and maybe she didn't have the opportunity to, to tell the person because she didn't even know how to find them or who they are. I feel like that's a little different than, you know, just keeping it from the man when you know, um, I'm also not a huge fan of second chance loves. I, not to say I never read them and if they're done right, I think that they're good. But um, I think that it that they walk a fine line. And I'm actually going to do a video today about things I really like in um, romances and things I really don't like in romances. So you'll hear more about that there. So I'm not going to go into too much more detail. Um, if somebody has read something by Willow Winters before, let me know if, um, if you enjoyed it. So the next book is called First Comes Like. It is the third book in the Modern Love series by Alicia Ray. Here is the cover. It says, by the author who wrote The Right Swipe and Girl Gone Viral returns with a story about finding love in all the wrong inboxes. Beauty expert and influencer Gia Ahmed has her eyes on the prize, conquering the internet today, the entire makeup industry tomorrow, and finally, finally proving herself to her big opinionated family. She has little time for love and even less time for the men in her private messages until the day a certain international superstar slides into her DMs and she falls hard and fast. There's just one wrinkle. He has no idea who she is. The son of a powerful Bollywood family, soap opera star Dev Dexit, is used to drama, but a strange woman who accuses him of wooing her online, well, that's a new one. As much as he'd like to focus on his Hollywood fresh start, he can get Gia out of his head, especially once he starts to suspect who might have used his famous name to catfish her. When paparazzi blast their private business into the public eye, Dev is happy to engage in some friendly fake dating to calm the gossips and to dazzle her family. But as the world, whole world swoons over their relationship, Gia can't help but wonder, can an online romance turned offline romance ever become love in real life? <laughs> Oh my God, this sounds adorable. I have not read the first two either. I'm so going to have to put the right swipe on my TBR. That sounds great. <laughs> so the next book is called Call You Mine. It says it's number four in the Baker's Creek Billionaire Brothers series. It's by Claudia Bergoa. Sorry, Claudia Y. Bergoa. It'll be right here. It says, this is the fun, sexy, charming friends to lovers series. I've been best friends with Beacon since we were kids. We shared everything, even our first kiss. Now that we're adults, Beacon's been cock-blocking me on the quest to find Mr. Right. No matter how hard I try to find love, he's always getting in the way. My shy, awkward exterior doesn't help. After all, Beacon's the cool one, not me. I play the cello at Carnegie Hall, and he is a heartthrob. The famous frontman of the band, Too Far From Grace. Every woman wants him. Every guy either wants to be him or wants him too. I decide to play devil's advocate and hire Beacon to teach me the dating ropes. Maybe if we work together, we can find a guy we did not we did both approve of. Except moving to Baker's Creek to work on this experiment isn't working the way I planned. Seems like he's doing everything to convince me that I don't need a man. After all, I do have him. There's a lot going on there. So there's, a there's um, again, I, I had this in my head because I'm doing a video today about the things I love in romances and the things that I don't like so much in romances. And this has, this is really an interesting dynamic because it has both. So I am not, you know what? I'm going to discuss it in my video later today because I, it just doesn't make sense to go into it now. I'll probably check into the book. Um, I've never read anything by that author. So, I mean, it, it does sound intriguing. So the next book I want to talk about is called Hot for Love. It's by Melissa Foster. It'll be right here. It says, Trixie Jericho is on a mission to start her own miniature horse business. She's tired of being told her idea is cute and wants nothing more than to be taken seriously. When rancher and sought after freestyle horse trainer Nick Braden offers an opportunity she can't refuse, Trixie jumps on it. The problem is, she also wants to jump on him. <laughs> oh 
But the bull-headed, big-muscled, most motorcycle-riding cowboy doesn't mix business with pleasure. <laughs> Little does he know, Trixie has never backed down from a challenge, especially once she wants more than her next breath. Saddle up, big boy, <laughs> because this boots stomping, wrist taking, Daisy Duke wearing cowgirl isn't afraid to play dirty. <laughs> um, I will probably definitely. <laughs> check this one out. Um, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of really good banter and, um, it has a lot of things that I, that I, that I love in romance. So the next book is called Fighting for You. It's the fifth in the Callahan series. It's by Monica Murphy. Here is the cover. It says Diego Garcia, class bully, football star, and my boyfriend. I fell hard and fast with the resident bad boy, and he fell just as hard for me, too. We were the perfect couple until things turned sour. Senior year, and we're both super busy. He has football, and I have volleyball. Soon enough, I hear the rumors Diego's cheating on me. After everything we've been through, I'm devastated. Breaking up with him was the hardest thing I've ever done. He doesn't love me. Besides, only a few more months of school, and then I'm going away to college, and Diego will permanently be out of my life. Until... I found out that I'm pregnant and now we're forever tied together. This is why I'm including a bunch of different books on this video is because that will probably be a book that for many reasons I never check out if I'm being just flat out honest. There's a lot of problematic areas in that book for me, but it might be your thing and that's perfectly fine. So I hope you enjoy it. If it is, let's move on to the next book. So the next book is called The Gemini Kings. It is going to be the first book in the Gemini Kings Motorcycle Club. It's by Noreen Michal. It is right here. It says, a savage is what she craves. A gentleman is what she needs. I can be both. I'm a Gemini after all. Stokes. She may never be able to accept my monster, but I won't hesitate to use that part of me to protect her. I'm the VP of the Gemini Kings Motorcycle Club. Blood, violence, and murder come with the territory. I never needed more until Liliana showed back up in my life. Now, she is thawing the shriveled pieces of my cold, dead heart. I have to find a way to prove to her that the decision to vanish from her life is one that I will regret until hell opens its gates to welcome me. His closeness does things to me that it shouldn't. Liliana. I lost the two men that meant the most to me on the same day. The day my brother died was the day Stokes vanished. Years later, after someone tried to have me killed, Stokes and the Gemini Kings inserted themselves into my life. Stokes has demons lurking beneath the surface, but that's the kind of man you need to take care of the monsters hell-bent on hurting you. While he protects me from the monsters, I must guard, guard my heart. That's easier said than done. I always did have a thing for the bad boys. So, again, um, I want this list to be all-encompassing. I know motorcycle clubs are huge, huge subgenre of romances, and people love them. So, if you love them, this one is for you. Probably not for me. I get the good news is I get most of my books in the library because this is one I probably will never look into. You won't have to wait on me for to get your book. <laughs> Oh gosh, guys, there are a lot of romance releases in February. I'm sure there's even more. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, may all your future reads be five stars. Bye, everyone.